Hello, I am Annie Mack and this is launched at Red Bull Studios. Over the last two series of this show, we have brought you artists that have gone on to achieve some incredible things in their career. People like Bastille, The 1975, Aluna George, Laura Mavula and Jessie Ware have all been launched right here. Now, this show is all about introducing you to the finest new musical talent of 2014. You're going to find them all and hear them all here first. Tonight, I am delighted to introduce to you Amber Run and George Ezra. We will be chatting to Amber Run in just a bit, but now it's time for George Ezra. My house in Budapest, my, my hidden treasure chest, golden ground piano, my beautiful Castillo. I'd leave it all. My acres of a land I have achieved. It may be hard for you to stop and believe, but for you, ooh, ooh, I'd leave it all. Oh, for you, ooh, ooh, I'd leave it all. Never make a change, baby. If you owe me, then all of this will go away. My many artifacts, the list goes on. If you just say the words, I'll up and run oh, to you. Ooh, ooh, I'd leave it all. My friends and family, they don't understand. They fear they'll lose so much if you take my hand with me. Ooh, ooh, I'd lose it all. Ooh, for you. Ooh, ooh, I'd lose it all. My, my hidden treasure chest, golden grand piano, my beautiful Castillo, you. Ooh, ooh, I'd leave it all. Ooh, for you. Ooh, ooh, I'd leave it all. George Ezra, hello. Hello. Welcome to launch. Thank you. So, this year, Looks like it might be a good year for George Ezra. Judging by what happened at the end of last year, kind of going on tour with Tom O'Dell, and um, your popularity kind of rising quite swiftly. Um, shall we rewind to you in Bristol, kind of starting your career out, and tell us a little bit about how it all began for you? In Bristol, it was fun, you know. I just We all just used to open mics, and friends would put on gigs, and... Yeah. I started putting on gigs and everyone was just moving around and mm. keeping busy and I was in that circuit, it was really fun. And then I was given the opportunity to support different acts that were playing outside of Bristol and I learned that there was a world <laughs> going Beyond. on. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just been brilliant. The last year I've been, you know, able to play loads of different venues with loads of different people, it's been amazing. Tell us a little bit about your songwriting process. 
Um, well, I have notebooks and I mm. have... I record stuff into my phone and it never runs that smoothly for me. It's always jotting down lyric ideas or little stories of what I'm seeing, people mm -hmm. watching and that, and then guitar parts recording on my phone. Yeah. Sometimes I pretend I'm on the phone walking down the street and hum a little melody into it. It's really... <laughs> It makes me <laughs> chuckle. You, you can't really do it on the train, I suppose, can you? Just with no. like singing into your So phone. I've got these real, they're actually quite creepy to listen to. They're me yeah. like going, <laughs> don't a really quiet melody. Um, but no, it all starts with that, with pieces being everywhere, scattered yeah. around. And then it just comes to playing around with different ones and realising, ah, that lyric would go with this melody that yeah. I was doing. Or yeah. that melody would suit this guitar part, anything like that. Yeah. It never happens in one... In one lovely, organic way. <laughs> Thank you, George Ezra. We'll be hearing more from you in a bit. Now, our other artist on tonight's show is Amber Run, and their ambassador is none other than Mark Owen. Well, what I love about Amber Run and, and the sound is that it makes me feel kind of warm inside. It's not something that I put on and go, oh, I don't get it. It doesn't kind of scare me away, or it just immediately draws me in. With Joe's voice, the arrangements of the songs, I immediately get drawn into the song. You feel like you're moving along with them, and it, I don't know whether the melodies they hit, the way they're playing it. When I find out that only kind of been together a year and a half properly, I can't believe how great they sound together, how tight they are as a band. And in some ways, when I saw like uh, Coldplay when they were first starting off, it, you just felt like they've been doing it forever already. And when I'm in the presence of Amber and I have that feeling, it's just, it just feels like it's the start for them. So I have no doubt that 2014 is going to be an amazing year for them. Gonna call you mm -hmm. It's in my bones in the water In my skin in every corner Like the shine gun It's gonna call you
Joe and Will from Amber Run. Hello. 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 Welcome to launch. It's really nice to meet you guys. Yeah, thanks for having us. It's a pleasure. So this show is about kind of finding the artists that we are excited about for 2014. And I think of everyone that we've got, you guys might be the kind of the newest band as such, or the newest artists. Yeah, I guess so. End of 2012. Yeah. So you've been around for just kind of over a year yeah. as such. Let's go back to even before then. You met uni, right? Oh, uh, no, we've known each other for yeah. a few years. You've known each other before we, then? Yeah. We went to school together and then th some of them, we met at uni, yeah. yeah. But we kind of formed as a this kind of collective up in Nottingham, yeah. And did you like Nottingham as a place? Yeah, it was, yeah, it's it was really cool. It's a really, really collective music scene up there as well, yeah. so it's really, really, really nice yeah. to like, be around yeah. a kind of uh, people that kind of push you to be better, because there's that kind of like, um, there seems to be like an instilled ambition there now that you know you have to be a bit a rung better than you were or would have been before because you've got kind of the London Grammars and the, the Jake yeah. Bugs all kind of affiliated with the scene so yeah. it, I know it pushed us to be a little bit better mm -hmm. and then so you talk about kind of quite a fast trajectory in terms of you, you kind of you know you played your Reading and Leeds gig yeah. bands work up to that for years to get I to know. that point it's just been ridiculous though because like because this this quick kind of turnaround of all these things it's that moment where People like one person stuck their neck out, and you're like, "Whoa, this is this is wicked." Yeah. And then it's just kind of kept on going. Another person yeah. been like, "This is really cool. We really dig it." Yeah. We and don't understand why it's been. Really cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's still just a, it's still just a laugh. I mean, like, yeah. we still just uh, hang around. I mean, we've been really really busy recently, but it's 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 just a stranger. <laughs> I, I can't it. find the words. It's just like, it. look at, look just, at this. Like, you know, but it's brilliant. It's, you know, you're in this really nice phase where you just can't quite believe what's going on. And then, is it all downhill from here? Well, no. What happens is, I think, from... Oh, it is. No, look. Back, <laughs> no, you start believing in yourself, like, sometimes you a bit too much. Yeah. 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 yeah, so I can it's, see that. It's, it's that a really nice kind of phase mm. when you're like, you know, yeah. you, you, you are making your art straight from your heart without considering it too much or thinking about it too much. And mm. because of that, it's really pure. Amber Run, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. We are going to have more from you in a bit and also find out who's backing George Ezra for 2014. I'll see you in a bit. Hello and welcome back to Launched at Red Bull Studios. If you have just joined us, you've missed us introducing you to two brand new artists for 2014, George Ezra and Amber Run. Now, we think these guys are gonna go places this year, but don't just take our word for it. Both have the support of some pretty famous faces and it makes complete sense that George Ezra has the backing of this guy. I first came across George um through lots of different directions, heard lots of tracks, and then I really liked Did You Hear The Rain? I was looking for a support app for the UK tour, and I asked him if he wants to do it, and he said yes. So he came and did most of, almost all of the UK tour uh, in October. I guess he's got one of those voices that you expect from like a 45-year-old whiskey, whiskey drinking Texan, and actually he's only 19. You know, it's rare that you hear a voice with so much soul. He's got that real Tom Waits kind of sound to him as well. I think 2014 is going to be a very big year for Mr. George Ezra. I just believe that he's going to be around for a while. So everyone that comes on the show has an ambassador, someone to kind of shout about them and, and, and show some public support. And your guy is Tom O'Dell. My guy. Your guy, yeah. your ambassador yeah. is Tom O'Dell, which seems like a really natural choice, obviously. Does it mean a lot to you personally to have him kind of championing you as such? Yeah, I appreciate it massively. Just the idea of him taking me on tour with him and still after that, because often you gig with people and that's your time with that person, but for him to be up for carrying it on, it's, I appreciate it a lot, yeah. yeah. It's brilliant. Yeah. If I could wave my magic wand um, and say you can have whatever you like in terms of your music career by the end of this year, mm -hmm. what would you like? Just to be busy doing what I'm doing, but in a new way, if that makes sense. So just, you know, headline my own tour for a while. Um, festivals again, I'm yeah. all about the festivals. Yeah. And just, I don't think it's right to say, because the whole time last year and everything, you just, you're learning stuff and I just want to see what's thrown at me and mm. see how I handle it. And what about the next song? Uh, Did You Hear The Rain okay. is the other song, um, which is sort of, quite an indulgent song, sort of like an alter ego running with an idea of that. 
sort of. I think everyone has it when you can become someone that you're not really and you see it for a second and it's ah, but with the song I've run with it, yeah. Thank you so much, George, and best of luck for 2014. Incredible stuff there from George Ezra, and we are back in the studio with Amber Run. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Let's talk about, I mean, fans and having fans and kind of having a fan base as such, which I'm sure is steadily growing. Have you guys mm. got used to that yet? Um, no. <laughs> there, were people, there, were people, there were people singing singing some lyrics the other day. That was pretty funny. Wow. That must be an incredible feeling. It's just a, oh, it's just a bit weird. It's just like... <laughs> Why? I love it. That's like I'm, someone asked for a photo with us, and I was just like, "Why do you want a photo with us?" <laughs> no, Will, you need to get better at that now. Yeah, yeah. they'll probably think I would. But I was what like, "Why?" <laughs> I was stinking. I was like, I was disgusted. I just come off stage with sweat all yeah, over my face. But that's what they like. Do they, they really? They like all oh. sweaty rock and roll, you know. We need to get some products like yeah. backstage, so we can just like pamper up before we go back out. <laughs> yeah, wet wipes. <laughs> yeah, nice. clean up a little bit. Okay, you are going to play us out with your next track, Spark. Tell us a bit about that. It's a pretty upbeat song, but it's one of those really natural tunes that just kind of like came together really easily. And like when we play it, it's always been the one where we play it live, you just have the most fun. Mm. Just because it's just one of those songs that lends itself really well to like a live environment. Yeah. It's actually quite difficult to capture that kind of sense of, you know, the live sense on a record. But um, mm. yeah, no, it's and... definitely one of our favourites. Amber Run, thank you so much for joining us. That's thank you. Right. Thank you for having um, us. Best of luck for 2014. Thanks, Thanks very much. Is the spark and then it's the flame? 
Let the light in, let the light in. 